Tableau Public is one of the best sources of inspiration for Tableau work anywhere on the internet. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how they've just made it better with a nice new search feature. As ever, let's get stuck in. So if you don't know what Tableau Public is, head to public.tableau.com and you'll land on this page. It's essentially the visualization gallery for Tableau content that's made using the free version of the product. Not many people know this when they're learning Tableau when they start out, but there's a free version of Tableau and it's called Tableau Public. It hasn't got any limitations other than you can't connect to uh, databases uh, using the software, but you can connect to an Excel, CSV, or any other sort of flat file that you want. And that makes it a great place to learn all the things you need to learn. And you can go all the way, build dashboards and publish them here on Tableau Public. I've got a separate video on that. Now, one of the nice things about it is you can use it as a source of inspiration. So when you land on the landing page, you do get a nice little bit of inspiration called Visit the Day. Visit the Day is essentially the visualization that Tableau have chosen to feature that day. If you go over here to the top right and select See All, you'll see all of the visualizations. And these are typically always really, really lovely visualizations. They all have something unique, even if it looks basic or simple, there is something special about each of these. And so if you see this and you look at it and you go, I don't get what's special about it, Download it, open it, try it. You might just find that you're gonna learn something new. Now, what makes Tableau really, really good now is that they've added a new search capability. So if I just go back to the Tableau public homepage, you'll see I'm here. Over on the top right hand side, it's annoying that it's this small, this little search icon, it's almost so far removed, uh, is a search bar and you get this nice little search bar. So let's say you're looking for inspiration. Let's say you wanna make something beautiful uh, about sports. You can just start, you know, say, say put something like sports infographic, infographic. And then when you hit enter, you'll get some visualizations. And the nice thing about this is you get a nice, beautiful image and you can kind of be pulled in by what you see. And typically you might have a sort of aesthetic or a design that you're going for. And what this allows you to do is just very quickly get a sample of what's going on. But here's what's great about the new capability. Over on the top right hand side, you can now sort by relevance, view count, and recently published. So if you wanna go and see which is the most viewed item that meets that criteria, then you'll get this. Now, what is interesting about this, and I, I saw this earlier on when I was testing this, is um, yeah, I've searched for sports infographic, and unfortunately, the algorithm is taking the term ports, and because this <laughs> visualization here is talking about ports, it's actually come up because it's the most viewed item. So um, if Tableau is watching this, a few more tweaks to be done to this algorithm to make it just, just a little bit more relevant. I think something like sports is such a clear term that it should be weighted higher than ports when I search for it, in my opinion. But nonetheless, you can see that you can kind of start to see the visualizations. And what you'll find with the view count one is that unfortunately it's going to be the ones that have been on Tableau public the longest. And so if they've been on for three or four years, um, maybe some of them got like a really big sort of exposure through some sort of event. You do get sort of public health visualizations if you search for healthcare related items, absolutely sort of topping out because governments do use Tableau to display national statistics. I've seen this in Scotland and in the NHS here in the UK. So the view count search item is a little bit uh, sort of strange. I think uh, there needs to be a little bit of a tweak and a little bit of manual sort of contextual, um, you know, tweaking to make sure that certain visitors don't sort of uh, game the system a little bit much. But anyway, we can also go and see which ones were recently published. So if we go ahead and look at this, you can see that people are building visualizations. So these are the newest ones that meet our criteria. The other thing you can do is you can now search. So if I just go ahead and search for myself, and uh, just search Tim Nguena, you'll see that it uh, goes and finds visualizations uh, by me. And you can see that lots of people are uh, called Tim. So all the Tims in the world are building wonderful stuff. Um, but if you go over to authors, you'll see that you find um, people. And so not only can you find me, it's also gone and found my brother who has the same surname. So it's pretty nice, but it's also gone and found other Tims that you can engage with. So all the Tims unite, let's take over Tableau Public. Uh, so this is a really nice way of searching for people and searching for uh, the, the kind of things that you you want to see the last thing i'll highlight is when you go to visualizations if i just go to let's say i search for something around nfl let's just search nfl and you want to learn how to recreate some of these items one of the things you'll want to do is to be able to download or open them in tableau public so you can edit them so there's this nice new filter here on the top left when you click on it it only shows you visualizations that let you do that. So you're not gonna to go to visualization, click on it, and then find that you can't download it to see how 
it works or find that you can't edit it to see how it works. I also love the copy here, can be downloaded or copied. <laughs> Maybe a little tweak on that uh, uh, copy might be a good idea. It can't be downloaded or used for inspiration might be a better way of doing it. Um, but as they say, still like an artist. But anyway, um, here you go. You can go and find any visualization. So if I want to see how this one by Ken was done, let's have a look at this one by NFL um, by Ken about NFL coaches. You'll know that this is available because not only was it part of that tag, but you'll see that there's a download Tableau workbook option there as well as being able to download things like the image cross tab pdf and powerpoint data is grayed out because we haven't selected anything if you don't know that first sometimes you have to first select an item before the data option shows up so a little tip there as well but nonetheless that is pretty much what is nice and new about the new search feature so um, i think this is really nice it's going to make it easier to search for specific things the other thing is hashtags so if we go um search uh, let's say uh, fitness Think that's a hashtag that's been used in the past people are able to add hashtags to their uh, specific uh, work and so what you can actually do is if you're sort of coordinated you could create your own hashtag that hasn't been used by anyone else and you can make it a nice easy way of finding items and don't forget the url for this search parameter is then shareable and will only come up with that type of content so you can also uh, structure the way you use tableau public now to have the search page work in a way that really suits your own style and content so um, I just wanted to do a little bit of a refresher of what Tableau Public is, show off the new features and show off how it works. But I think these are fantastic changes. I think they're going to be absolutely fantastic for the future. And it's going to make it so much easier for people finding it for the first time to get stuck in like I do. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.